How's it going, Smiths? This is Miss Charles, and we're back. Well, we're here even with Tomb Raider 2, The Floating Islands, The Floating Islands Chronicles. I don't know why I've called it yet, but I'm going to call it just Tomb Raider 2, The Floating Islands, and I'm going to call it that going into this because I know this is going to be especially frustrating. This is going to be one of the worst times of my Let's Play career. Now, previously. Now, we actually have to try and get through that. We have to actually, you know, figure out what to do. Now, I am I am still convinced I can jump that somehow. But, I can't be sure of that. So I'm going to try one more time. J just one. Okay, one more time. Just just the one. I mean, high jumping it won't do anything for me. Um, maybe right, right in the corner. Maybe I can veer it like that. I can veer uh, over there. Alright, look. I think the game designer just want to fuck me over. So we're not doing that. No, there, there has to be something else I can do first. I mean, I, I think this platform's just a joke. I, I mean, I know an enemy spawned when I did that. And I know maybe doing it a million more times will actually get there. But I'm not convinced. Unless there's literally... Is there literally nothing else? No other way? No other... I mean, I don't even know where I'm meant to use it. When I get it, what am I going to do with it? Suck it off? Become a, a prostitute in some kind of, like... Strange... Oh, secret... Well, I'm glad those still exist in this hell. This actually might be what hell looks like when I go to hell. If if I go down, I don't know, maybe I'll end up killing someone. Like the designers of this game. Yeah, good fucking secret. Here's one of my secrets. I fucking hate this game. I actually kind of do, to be honest. Why, why do we need those now? What is the point of a secret if it's just shit? Right, interestingly, there looks like there's a door or something down there. So I'm going to take a chance. I am assuming... Oh, what just happened there? Alright, cool. Well, I didn't need health anyway. And you know what? I don't even want to keep that dragon because I'm so sick of them right now. Okay. Okay, one more time. Now, can I... Why, why do I think it'll be any different? Why do I think that maybe I'm veering closer? Why do I think that maybe the game can be reason? It can't be. You cannot reason with Tomb Raider game designers. Especially Tomb Raider 2. They're about as unreasonable as fucking politicians at this point. Couldn't even grab the ledge there. I didn't want to fucking jump. I just wanted to take a little look-see. Can't do that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sorry. Right, was nothing down there. There could be anything at this point. Anything could lead me to where I need to be. But I'm not convinced it's that fucking bullshit over there. No, I can't climb this. No. I could try and jump over it, but I'm not feeling lucky. I could try and jump to that. That'll probably block me. Okay. Laura didn't understand what was happening there, so she just gave up on life. Okay, now I may be able to jump over there, or it might be another narrow miss. Or maybe I could use a bike and then go up that bit. I'd love that, but the game wouldn't let me because I don't have a bike in this floating island nightmare. Cool, great. Yeah, let's get another one where we can't fucking get it. Okay, one more time. <laughs> just once, just once I want you to say yes, James. Yes, you can have the Floating Island gift. And I'll be like, ah, yeah. But no, you're like, oh, this is forbidden. Only the Queen of England can have this. She was so good in the crowd, wasn't she? And I'm like, well, yeah, but... Uh, oh, that's not going to make it. If a, if a good jump's not going to make it, then a mad, mad, bad, and clad one's not going to. I don't know if clad is a word, but I'm making it one. Right, what what other jumps can I use? There's not even anywhere to go. It's so fucking miserable out here. Right, I'm convinced there's some way I can use that little fucking slope to my advantage. So I'm doing that. No, no, no. F 
fucking know. I don't know if I used a walkthrough in this game yet, but I'm convinced that I'm not going to need one. Even if... Oh, fuck off. I'm convinced I don't need one. Even if this takes me a hundred years. I am convinced it's going to take me a hundred years. Because I don't think this game likes me. I think it's actually quite insulted I've got this far. I think it was expecting me to do much worse. To give up in Venice or something. God, you know what? You know how like some games punish cheaters? Like, you know, you get your account banned or some shit. I think this was Tomb Raider's answer. If you cheat, you get to deal with shit you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine how to do. I'm convinced there's something here I can cl- Right, okay, that looks interesting. What's down there? If it's a secret, you can go fucking die. Okay, but I can go down here. That's good. That's very good. That means I'm on to something. I mean, this is the thing. Any, Even the floating islands thing, there is only a number of combinations that the game can actually give you. So I just need to realise what this gives me. Right, there's a switch here. What does that do? Anything nice? No, it just opens the gate. Oh, but that... Okay, fine, okay. Right, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I need. This is actually an instructions game. You understand? You understand how the game is meant to be played, game? You understand, you know, this is a part of your life that's important. I'm so certain I'm going to get a fucking 500 saves, to be honest. Like, there's no way I'm going to get through this and, you know, survive intact. My brain, that is. I can't even make normal sentences anymore because I'm a disabled child. Okay. So there's a lot of jumping around shit. A lot of groaning too. I love how they kept the same music from the temple here. I'm also still annoyed about last episode. Not so much the floating islands or fucking deal with the enemies. But the fact the men got to the dagger... Like, I don't know what took them so long, to be honest, because, you know, I was down there an hour and a half. If they were following me, they should have just gone straight for it, but they didn't. But I can't believe we got to watch them fucking use and abuse it. You know, Laura better get some good compensation for this shit, because it's just, it's just stupid. It's stupid that that guy can get to use the dagger and shit, and he doesn't have to fall down. You would have thought the trap would reset itself, like, you know, a Venus flytrap would. You know, Venus flytrap eats the fly, gets some nutrients, and then it resets itself. But no, it worked like a bear trap. Apparently it needed some human intervention. Apparently some ancient fucking Chinese man, because this is like a Chinese artifact, I think. Some Chinese person thought, oh, okay, I'll reset the trap and it should be good for another, like... What was it? 5,000 years? It might be like more like 4,000 or 3,000. I think it's more recent to be honest, but... Look, I'm not a fucking archaeologist, okay? I d Oh, no! No, I'm not going back to that! I'm not fucking going back! God, my girlfriend's asleep right now and she's going to be really asking why I'm louder than ever. But no, no fucking way! <laughs> this is actually making me cry. <laughs> oh, please tell me that tablet's accessible. Please tell me I'm not actually, actually meant to make that jump. Okay, it looks like there's another route up here, so... Oh my god, please. can't believe the game just fucking mean to me. Right, there has to be a way down there. I can't have to just reset and fucking figure it out for myself. Oh my god. I genuinely do struggle to think if there's anything I've had worse than this. Like, gaming-wise. Right, okay, so I could have just, um... I'm gonna have to go back this way and I have to go through all that shit again, but... Right, so I can go down there. There. Then jump... I don't care about losing health. Oh, you cruel asshole. Right, can I at least just jump back to where I was? Okay, good. So I can just try again and then I'll get it this time. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so fucking much. So that was a cruel joke over there. M maybe I can make it back. Oh, no!
I've never, I've never been this angry in a Let's Play before. I am so fucking angry! Oh my god! I'm so angry! Oh! I know Tiller the, the Hun, right? I know he said, like, fucking... The best thing about the, the greatest joy, happiness, or whatever it is, is seeing your enemies fail and die, and, you know, suffer from AIDS or something. Yes, I'm getting serious now with real-life fucking illnesses that affect people, because I'm that angry! And I know modern interpreters of that are just like, well, that's not very nice, is it? That's not really happiness. Well, you know what? Seeing my enemies get the game done so fucking easily without falling into a death trap and without jumping across random islands, dealing with random fucking flying men, I'd say that makes me very depressed. I'd say the opposite is definitely true. Seeing your enemies succeed is the definition of sadness and misery and anger. Oh, God. God, oh God, fuck, save me, <laughs> save me, I'm actually begging for Zalf, I think I've offended God some, yeah, I'm getting religious as well, I'm throwing that into the let's play, I genuinely think I've offended a deity, I genuinely hate this, <laughs> so much, okay, thank God, okay, I'm beginning to feel new sensations. I feel like I'm full of helium or something right now. Not like when you get like the voice squeaky. But you know how like uh, balloons feel sometimes when you like blow them up and stuff? And you get that kind of like aftertaste or something? Maybe it's rubber, I don't know. Okay. Let's tone it down a bit, James. We have neighbors. Now the house can kind of take some noise. But it can't take as much noise as you are producing. I think volcanoes volcanoes are quieter than you at this point in time. Now, I have both the, the, the fucking whatever they are. The mystic, mystic. Apparently, they're different items because they look different. They both look the same to me. And I personally don't care about your Tom Dickery. Right, jump over there. Good. I'm glad I've mastered that bit because I don't have to worry about that again. Okay. Now, it won't take too long to get to the platform, especially as I know how to get there now. Uh, now, of course, this bit's going to be annoying because I'm going to have to slide down. Oh, okay, but I can actually see this time. Probably because my guns aren't drawn. That's what I'm guessing. The game didn't want me to be, you know, secure. Right, got a nice little checkpoint here. Good. Now, I'm going to make sure I jump this properly and don't, you know, accidentally fall through the bars, which should really be happening right now. But, you know, I guess Laura's got that agility. There's still the, the potential that maybe this will go horribly, horribly wrong. You know, I could accidentally press forward at the wrong time, but I'm really squeezing down on the shift key when I start walking up to stuff. This bit should be fine. I don't know what's behind the gate. No, my luck, several million other things are awaiting me. Like, you know, an actual impossible jump. But, you know, we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to fucking see for ourselves. We're going to have to suffer, and we're going to have to say, mm, mm, mm. Well, I don't want to go back to where I once was. I just, I just want this game to be over with. I want to use my passport to get the fuck out of here. You know, good on Laura and exploring places. Again, I want to do this in real life. I want to start in Taiwan and maybe move around Asia, because Asia's always fascinated me. Even the dangerous bits. You know, in a local place, um... Uh, I think it's like Guinea Passau or something, or maybe Bruai. Somewhere around there, there's the only poisonous bird in the world. I've never actually been poisoned myself, but it sounds much more nicer than going through this shit, if I'm honest. Yeah, if I die, at least there'll be like a year of Let's Plays left to keep me going. <laughs> like, to keep me, my, my, um, my image alive. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, all that's left after this is to jump across. There'll probably be like seven fucking enemies flying over that gate, but it can't be as bad as it looks to be. Good. Good. Right, draw the guns. Fuck the pussy. Okay, there's some Uzi ammo here, so I'll use that first. Because I want to keep my Uzis out because they're actually 
They're actually quite decent against those guys. I mean, I suppose anything long-range machine gun is quite good. Automatic pistols, not so much. Shotgun, that's going to be quite bad in this situation unless I'm right next to them. But, you know, right. I need to use the right ones. So this one. Good. Can I get an explanation as to how that fucking twat got through all this? Got through all this and somehow, you know, didn't accidentally fall down something himself and die. Right. New area. Now, I'm going to explore a little bit because I want to know what I'm in store for next time. Could be anything. Could be a boss. If it's a boss, at least that's going to be easy. Yeah, look. Tomb Raider, I know you're the best game ever, but you have the shittest music ever. Ooh. But i got to admit, I like the special effects, even if they are a bit too retro for 2022. Oh, fuck off, you magic prick. Look, try your best, but you're not going to fucking have any of this. Good. Right. So, oh, hello. Hello. How are you doing? How's my boulder friend? Boulder, let's come out and play. I've got a new scooter and it's electric and it's very expensive, but my dad can afford it because he works at Idos Interactive. Come on. I know you want to, so fuck off already. No, you know what? That's my final objective, this Let's Play. I'm going to fucking activate that boulder, and it's going to molest me, and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, or not. Okay. Can I admit something a bit embarrassing? This music's actually not... Yeah, cool. You know, you can kill me if you want. I mean, I'm already fused with the boulder. But the music at that point is probably the first tune I could actually listen to whilst I'm not playing the game. It'll only probably last like 10, 20 seconds, but, you know, I'm just kind of impressed with that. There's actually listenable music in this game. Uh -huh. I know all you Tomb Raider fans might be like, Mr. Charles, come on. I mean, it's meant to look all mystic and fucking like, oh, what's this treasure time kind of thing? It's not meant to be catchy and dubstep. What, what do you want from Tomb Raider? God. Well, I'd actually kind of like music that's actually listenable when I'm not playing it. I'd also like the music to make sense when it plays and play it not all the time, but just when something actually happens. I'd also, you know, like to enjoy the game at some point, but I think we're far, far away from that. Okay, okay, okay. So, loads of... Right, you know what? I'm taking that. I'm taking that as the end of the fucking... This is the end of this Let's Play. Now, I do still need to go to that. I need to figure out what to do here, but I'm pretty sure this should be... The last level. I don't know if there's like an end boss. Maybe that's waiting for me in the temple. Or maybe there's like a little further bit. I mean, I still remember the, the mansion as a place where we get attacked or something. But maybe that's another Tomb Raider. Because I do know once upon a time, I did use a cheat to get here. Not in this Let's Play, but when I was like six or seven or something. I was a young kid, okay? It was a long time ago. But anyway... Next time, hopefully, we'll get through the floating islands and it won't be as bad as it looks to be. It won't be an hour and a half long because that would be painful. If you want to play the game yourself and see if you can get through this nightmare, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. No further ado. The Whipscrunch, until next time. See ya!